You're going to have your highs and you're going to have your lows, especially when you're going through a transformation. Now I'm in my lows, y'all. Look at my face. But you know what? I'd rather walk with this pain. I'd rather walk with this stress than disappoint God and be disobedient. Don't be disobedient. What's up power fans on YouTube, it's your boy Nino and I'm back with another power video. Now in this video I'll be talking about why Redman's role as Steel Rollins was recast and the reason why he exited power. And of course if you are new to my channel you are welcome, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's jump straight into the topic. Season 2 of Power Book 2 Ghosts introduced defense attorney Davis McLean's brother Till Rollins, who is in prison for taking four for a manslaughter charge for Davis. Till was played by Red Man, the rap icon and well-known Method Man collaborator. Season 3 started on a good note with expectations of new characters like Norma, Obi, RSJ, etc. to bring extra energy into the series. What every fan wasn't expecting was a recast of any character. Some of us who have been waiting to see the development in Teo and McLean's storyline are not too happy after the third episode was released. In episode 3, viewers got the shock of their lives as it turned out that the Teo Rollins role has been recast. The big reveal came when Cooper Sachs visited the prison to have a chat with Teo about his case. To the surprise of many viewers, Redman was nowhere in sight and a new actor was revealed in the role instead. Now, many including myself thought the real Teo, which is Redman, decided to rep himself with another person in the prison with Sax, maybe for some trust reasons. The scene seemed as though Redman asked one of his boys to pose as him in front of Sax to see what he's up to. Others were also thinking both Redman and Davis didn't want Sax to ID him until they are sure he was truly going to help him get out. A lot of us had different theories why we didn't see Redman as Till Rollins. Some also speculated that Redman may have left the show due to scheduling conflict and other personal reasons. Now the question is, why isn't Redman back for Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3? Here is what I know so far. Now, neither the Power Book 2 Ghost showrunner Betty Mahoney nor executive producer 50 Cent has issued any statement addressing the rapper's recast rule in season 3. Reps for stars could also not be reached for comments either. So I did some digging and came across some answers from the man himself even though not in full details. Here is what Redman has to say about why he hesitated power and his rule as Tio Rollins. No! You know what? I walked away from it. You did? Yes, because they wanted me to be fascinated, and I'm not, I'm not fascinated shit. Okay. Turned out that he, Redman, walked away because it required him to get vaccinated because of COVID. Now, I don't know what you make of his decision. Was it a good move or a bad move for his future potential projects? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I don't know, but I feel this could have been approached differently. Now, why is this even a case and why didn't the production or stars save this character for Redman with regards to his refusal to take the job? Now, let me explain. We all remember when COVID started, it affected everything including production. Now, Power Book 2 Ghost halted production amidst the coronavirus pandemic and stars series has been rocked by a crew member testing positive for COVID-19. Courtney Kemp took to her IG to address fans who were concerned about the future of the series. She said in her post, Dear Power fans, we have ceased production for at least one week in order to protect our cast and crew. She went further to state that we will keep you posted as circumstances change. Both Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Book 3 Raising Canaan are down so we can assess the situation and keep people safe and healthy. Now, after some times, we started enjoying power again, which means that they've got a solution to keep the cast and crew safe, and that is to vaccinate every crew member and cast member. Now, the vaccination has become mandatory and part of requirements for every production under Hollywood Union. This means that every individual working on a project must be vaccinated. But then ever since COVID vaccine came out, people had their reservations about it and how effective it can be. Looking at the turnaround time these vaccines were produced, where some people speculated that they wanted to take control of our minds in the future with these vaccines, others were with the view that they wanted to depopulate the world, while some even said that it was meant to kill sex production hormones in our systems and so forth. That is why till today not everyone in the world is vaccinated with the COVID vaccine. Now, you can force a horse to the riverside, 
but you cannot force it to drink water. This is how best I can explain Redman's situation with the production in one sentence. Now, I believe moving forward, we the fans must accept his decision and readjust to the new cast because we may never know he will wow us with his performance. Now, for those who may be wondering, actor Jordan Mahomes took on Redman's role Phil Rollins in season three's third episode. He appears in a scene with Cooper Sachs, who is investigating Theo's case on behalf of his co-worker Davis. As the two discuss evidence that suggests he is locked up because he has covered for his brother's wrongdoing. Now, according to Davis, his brother did cover for him as he could have faced prison time when he was 21 years for killing a cop's brother. You don't think I wanted to confess? Hmm? Hell, I tried. But our family made a choice, or rather Theo did. Come on. Seriously, you could have got this whole case tossed. I was 21, Cooper. So, Theo took a plea deal so Davis could pursue his studies in law. Even though the lawyer didn't realize it would result in his brother, who is suffering from hepatitis, stay in prison so long. Now, Mahomes may be a familiar face to some of you as he previously starred in TV shows like Ray Donovan, The Get Down, The Punisher, and For Life. It remains to be seen whether he will appear as Theo in future episodes of Power Book 2 Ghost. Now, until we see some statements from the producers concerning this situation, these are my findings for you so that you can have some closure at least to the situation. And like I said, we need to give the new Theo a chance to play his role. He didn't sack Redman from his role. He was brought in to fill a gap that has been created since the production doesn't want to halt because of the exit of one character. One can say Stars made a good decision to keep power running for us. If you ever done production before, it is not easy to maintain every cast for so long. It is a very risky job and that is why they sign contracts and lot of clauses. Some may even end up dying in the middle of production. But then one thing I can say is that maybe probably... Redman's contract didn't include taking the vaccines at the time he was called. Maybe COVID wasn't even out at the time he signed for the role. That is why it seems as though he can just walk out on the character like that without any suit from the production or stars. I said this because his decision can create financial and other issues to the production. Imagine Tariq decides he is leaving for the same reason or something else. You can understand how messy the production will become and how stars will lose viewers and numbers. But I think moving forward, they will have to tighten cast agreements and conditions so that things like this will not pop up in future. Because as I speak, fans are still not giving up on Ghost yet. And things like this cannot be happening to fans again after the mystery that followed Ghost at the end of the original part. So let me know what you also think in the comment section below. And also drop your emotions when you first saw the new Phil Rollins below. And if you also have any other information on the topic, kindly leave it in the comment section so we all be aligned. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share, like, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.